Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about chapter one, the purpose and need for a will. Okay, so what really is a will? Well, a will is basically a legal document of how people want their property divided and who they want to handle their personal affairs um, after their death. Most of you probably already know the basics of a will. Um, one thing to uh, keep in mind is it's what we call ambulatory. You might want to write that word down. And ambulatory means that the transfer of property is upon one's death. That is different from most trusts. Most trusts are um, the transfer of property occurs at the creation of a trust. A will is revocable as long as the person is competent because it isn't actually transferring property until someone dies. And it can be changed, and that is called a codicil, so long again as the person is competent. Now, probate is the legal process which a court examines, approves, and act, enacts the terms of will. Um, many people have the misconception if you have a will, you don't have to go through probate. A will makes it easier to go through probate, but you still have to go through probate, which is the court um, approval of the will. So. There are many uh, benefits for a will um, because it allows people to tell them in advance uh, whom, how, and when assets are going to be distributed. And that's what most of us think of when we think of a will. Um, and it also lets us name who's going to manage the distribution of the assets, and that's an executor. Okay, it doesn't have to be um, a legal professional. It can be a person. There are some limitations on what executors in some areas, estates, um, in some states of what you can get under the will if you're the executor, and we'll talk about that later. A uh, guardian is, um, you can appoint a guardian, and that's who's gonna take care of our minor children if both parents are die had died. Um, it allows you to tell um, the, basically to decide who is going to be um, in charge of the taxes of your estate. So there are some ways that you can strategize that. It's called an alloc uh, allocation clause that allocates the tax burden on the beneficiaries. And you can give ch gifts to charitable organizations. So. Some people even give uh, gifts to their animals. Um, so this is something that you can do with a will. So let's talk about the terms uh, that we'll frequently see. Uh, bequest is basically what um, you're doing when you leave property to someone. It's called, um, that is called a bequest. And the verb is bequeath. I bequeath my home to my son. Um, the beneficiary is the person who is going to receive, um, so it's the person to whom you are bequeathing. And issue is just another word for your direct, direct descendants, such as children and grandchildren. And this generally includes natural born children and grandchildren. Um, and that most people will choose their issue to be their beneficiaries. And when we talk about an executor, we also talk about them as a personal representative, and that's the person that who's been selected to handle how the will is distributed after your death. So the executor and personal representative have no responsibilities while you're alive because your pop party your uh, property doesn't get distributed until after you pass. So, what does it mean testate? Well, first of all, the testator is the person who's making the will. I am the testator. Okay, sometimes you've heard testatrix, uh, test, testatrix if they are referring to a woman. Um, testate is basically to die with a will. Okay, if you die testate, you have a will. If you die intestate, you have no will. Okay, and therefore you have to look to the laws of intestate succession and they that will determine how and to whom property sh um, should be distributed. Um, and so there are laws that say it, this amount goes to the issue and this is what order it does, and we'll have a chapter on that. So we have some quiz questions here. You can stop the video, um, write down your answers, and then proceed. So here's question one and two, and here we have question three and four, and here we have question five and six. 
Okay, now to die without a will we've learned is in testate and we're going to go with the law of testate succession and how it tells us then how and when everything's distributed. So we kind of have a general idea about what a will is and what to die without a will. But what's the difference between that and a trust? Well, trusts are legal arrangements that provide for the transfer of assets from your um, owner, uh, from the owner, which is going to be the grantor or trustor, to a trustee. Okay, and that's a direct transfer of assets, and they set the terms for the management of those assets and for distributions to whatever beneficiaries and for ultimately how the property will be disposed of. Um, the trustee is a, a basically we call it fiduciary, which means that you have a legal responsibility and they're obligated to handle the trust in accordance with the trust document and solely in the best interest of the beneficiary. OK, and that beneficiary then is the person receiving. So they're looking for the best interest of the beneficiary. Note that's not necessarily have to be the same as the best interest of the grantor or trustor. Unlike wills, um, trusts become effective upon the transfer. The exception is a testamentary trust. OK, so what is a testamentary trust? This is actually contained in a will. OK, so you put that testamentary trust in there. And what that is, it's usually for young children or if you have relatives with disabilities or someone that may ha have a large amount of money and you're kind of concerned about how if you leave them all that money, they're going to handle the money. So the testamentary trust is provided um, in a last will by the settler and the settler is the one who writes. It's the same person who is um, is uh, the testator and they appoint a trustee. And so I would be the um, testator of my will and the settlor of this trust within my will. And I appoint a trustee to manage the funds until the beneficiary or the person receiving the money is able to take over. So I would put something in there of when maybe they can take over for a minor it may be at certain age they can handle their own affairs, okay? So this one is the one trust that occurs upon one's death and again that is called ambulatory. So we've had a brief review of wills um, what it is to die intestate and trusts just an Quick overview, and you're going to have um, a couple more questions. So seven and eight are here. You can again pause your video. Nine and ten are here, and you have finished. So just submit your quiz as your assign or, or your quiz answers as your ass assignment. And please, please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Send me an email, and if we need to set up a Zoom conference or communicate by phone, we can do that too. Good luck.